welcome to my channel. I am Longevity. Forever young, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is July 20th, 2024. I want to speak to you about something very important that's rarely mentioned in the longevity space that it shocks me. Okay, It's called torque. Torque. Does anybody know what torque is? Let me give you an example of what torque is. Let's say you're using a wrench to turn a bolt. The harder you press on the wrench, the more the bolt turns. That pressure you're putting with the, with the wrench is called torque. That turning pressure is called torque. So it, you have to apply that to your joints, to your muscles. There is one specific muscle that I consider extremely crucial for lifespan. Forget about longevity, for lifespan. Actually, this is just not, this is my opinion based on studies, and I'm gonna show you a study. When you get older, there's a specific muscle that you lose torque velocity, you lose speed, power, more than any other muscle, and it's strongly connected to health span and lifespan and diseases and age-related diseases. In other words, because this muscle weakens, you lose torque, but but indirectly it causes age-related diseases. I will explain all this. It's called the knee extensors. The knee extensors, which are the quadriceps. Okay, you have the dorsi flexes here. Here you also lose that, but the knee extensors, this, this part here. Between young and old, it's like night, day, night and day. It's like apples and oranges. So I am going to show you exercises I do to maintain this torque because I am not trying to lose it. I am not trying to lose it. Once you lose it, this is why when you lose torque, people become immobile. They become sedentary. They move less. Walking is not enough. These muscles are used for sprinting, for power, uh, jumping, hopping. We don't do that. People don't do that in older age. That's why you lose the torque in that area. You maintain that torque, you could actually live longer because you will exercise more. You'll be more incentivized to exercise more because you can move. You're not hurting. You're not in pain. Plus, torque is used for a lot of other things. Running up the stairs, whatever it is, it's used for life, lifestyle factors. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some of the exercises I do. I will also show you. I will also talk about. I will show you a study that they did where they compared the torque and the speed velocity in the quadricep muscles, the knee extensors, and you will see the difference between 20-some year olds and 60, 70, 80 year olds. I mean, it has a chain. It's like a chain reaction. It's like a chain reaction. It accelerates aging. Anyway, let me show you the exercises I do. I'll talk about the exercises, how to do them, and then I will speak about one or two studies. Let's get going. The first exercise I do is a running spin exercise. You have to run. I'm gonna show, show you slow motion, okay? This is for the talk area right here. You're gonna run slow motion. I'm gonna show you slow motion, okay? As you're running, your, left, left, your right foot goes out and you spin but you keep low center of gravity and you keep moving. Show you one more time. Keep low center of gravity. I'm gonna try. Okay, now do the other side. Okay, that's one of the exercises I do to maintain my torque. It's like the wrench, the more pressure you put when you step and you spin, that's the wrench putting pressure. Let's go to the next exercise. The next exercise is bounce, but you're moving bounce. It ain't like you're going back and forth. 
you're moving and explosive. I show you. Explosive. Here, let me show you. You're not, you're not stopping. As soon as you, as soon as you land, you hop, you hop off, you hop off. That works that joint. It works the stability. It works the torque. Okay, those are called I don't know. They call bounce, but I call them moving bounce because I'm moving. Let's go to the next exercise. The next exercise is side hops, but it's going to be done a little bit different. I'm going to start them like this because. I want to get the torque power coming upwards on my joint, like this, look. Okay, then I, then I go like this. Let me show you. Okay, it gets the torque power coming upwards vertically and then the diagonal torque when it's hopping. That's another exercise I do. Do three sets of those if you can do them. If you do them, however you could do them. Let's go to the next exercise. The next exercise, you're going to run in place. However, when you come up waist high, your knees got to touch your hands. First, from this angle, here, and then you're going to twist your knee, alternate. I'll show you what I mean, okay? That. That gets different sections, all from different angles. It gets quadriceps and the knee joint. And you get power at the same time. Remember that twisting at the end. Twist, alternate, make sure you twist your hip. That works, the torque in the knee, very good. Let's go to the next exercise. The next exercise is skipping. However, you don't skip like this. You could do that if you want, but I twist, I, I turn, let me show you. That works the torque. You're spinning, it works the spinning power. And what I said in the beginning, the wrench. The more pressure you put, you keep your knee extends is strong, functional. You can go to the gym and work out with weights, but weights don't help for functional health. You need to move, you need to twist. Twist that joint as best as you can, keep it healthy. As we age, one of the significant physiological changes observed is the loss of this torque and the knee extensor muscles, the quadriceps. This decline in muscle strength and power directly impacts various aspects of health and lifespan, contributing to the development of age-related diseases. For example, muscle strength and functionality. The knee extents of the quadricep muscle play a crucial role in mobility and daily activities. With age, there is a notable decrease in knee extensor torque, which results in reduced strength and power. This decline makes tasks such as standing up from a chair or climbing stairs more challenging, leading to functional limitations and decreased independence. Next one is the risk of falls and frailty. Weakening knee extensors are linked to increased risk of falls among older adults. Falls can have severe consequences, including fractures and hospitalizations, further compromising health and quality of life. The next one, impact on chronic diseases. Listen to this. Reduced knee extensor torque contributes to a sedentary lifestyle, which is a risk factor for chronic diseases, such as 
cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and osteoporosis. Maintaining muscle strength through the exercises I showed and other physical activity is crucial in mitigating these risks. The next one is quality of life and lifespan. Overall, the loss of knee extensor torque accelerates the aging process and decreases quality of life. It underscores the importance of interventions such as the ones I showed, the exercise I showed to preserve this torque, especially as you age. Understanding and addressing the decline of knee extensor torque is essential in promoting healthy aging and extending lifespan, emphasizing the need for targeted interventions to maintain health throughout the aging process. This is why I do these exercises. People ignore them. Most people, all they do is ride a bike, walk, um, go to the gym to do some resistance training or jog long distances. This does not work the torque area anywhere in the body, especially in the knee area. Show me your torque and I'll show you how old you really are. And I mean this with all due respect to everyone. There's a lot of fit people out there, all the people. There's a lot of them that are fit. You look at them, they're healthy, they rip, they cut up. Can you move? Show me your knee movement. This is a serious thing. Everybody ignores it. I don't ignore it because I believe this is strongly connected to lifespan. This specific area, even the dorsiflexor, that's the muscle that makes you lift your foot up. Even though that the torque in that area lessens, decreases with age, not as much because all the people still walk. So the thing is, people don't jump. They don't run. So this the area in the knees weakens. When the area in the knee weakens, you do less exercise. You will go to the gym. You, even though you do squats, it's not the same thing. As functional ability, the movement, the smoothness. Take a younger person compared to his older self. The talk is unbelievably lesser from the same person as when he was younger. Incredibly. This is what, when a person moves, this is what shows his age, his torque, shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, and ankles but specifically the knee area this is so important so important i implore all of you to train to talk maintain the talk because this will help you maintain a youthful body youthful movement this is what i do and you can see from my videos i mean i've been doing this for a long time and I, not not from the studies, just from just from thinking about this and, and over the years. I just knew it. But now the evidence is there. Okay, look, I wish you all the best. I hope studies I showed and I hope the exercises I showed you can incorporate into your routines. Please always speak to a medical provider to ensure that your body's capable of doing those exercises. Okay, I don't want nobody to get hurt. And another thing I want you guys to do is you must warm up good. Jog for 10 minutes. Do some stretching. Always warm up good before you do these exercises. I wish you the best of luck, everyone. Stay healthy, and I hope you live a long, healthy life. See you in my next video.